Hey everybody, I'm Johnny Scoville. And I am Papa Scoville. This is Chase the Heat. And this is the cheese that binds us. This most certainly is. Thank you for being here. How it's you doing? It's a privilege. The privilege is mine. Thank you, Carolyn. The official cheese cutting board. Look what we got today. Super excited about this, because I've never had it. Sharp provolone. Didn't even know there was sharp provolone. And I didn't know, I've never seen provolone that wasn't in just the, the tube where they go, they that's grind it. processed cheese. So this is different, huh? Oh yeah, that's aged cheese. And you've obviously well. had this. Oh yeah. This is Belgioso. Uh, well done. Let's see what this is made. If you can read that, you're going to get an Academy right? Award. Right? I'm serious. Not even close to reading this little part. Um, <clears throat> sharp provolone, crafted, cultured, milk, enzymes, and salt. That is really a joke right there. Yeah, I took my a magnifying glass. And really learn it. Classic Italian cheeses made in the USA. Sir, uh, it's crafted in Wisconsin. That's what I was looking for. And I lived in Long Island as a young man, Long Island, New York, and there was a deli, enormous store. They had cheeses this around hanging from steel girders. One of them was, I did the same thing as said, the dad, that, that, that can't be provolone, it should be a... Right, a tube or whatever. He said, also, this is aged provolone. And they aged something, sausages, not to cook. They got hard and it drew them like, that meat you like in a bag of... Um, jerky? Don't call me a name like that. <laughs> yeah, beef jerky. Listen to this. And uh, so this is one of the problems. They don't have delis like that anymore. They do. Yeah. They have one you. in uh, Georgia. I'm sure they're in New York, too. Macy's had a... Uh, yeah, you talked about that. It's pretty interesting. Uh, there's one out of the wine country, a very big store, the Luc Dean and DeLuca. Oh, yeah, for sure. They have a wheel of cheese this big and right. this high. Now, the, the cheese probably would have cost you the same as a Volkswagen. <laughs> but if you ask them, they'll bring out a slice and give you a cheese. And it's what about $19 it a pound. That's pretty cool. More than beefsteak. Right. So listen to this. It's the world's best provolone. We're done. It's, this is the world's it's best provolone. They wouldn't, say, the they wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. No. All right. It's made from a secret family recipe passed down for generations. Are you ready? I want you to prepare yourself. I'm prepared. Well, it's gluten free. No kidding. I wouldn't lie to you. He's a sharp kid. Here's what you prepare yourself for. Uh -huh. In the past few weeks, we've tasted wow. some things. I won't signal them out. That we're not what we'd hoped for. Is that a good way to say? No, it? we'll signal them out. We went to trade. No, we went to uh, where we Safeway, and I got this a uh, brie, Alouette brie. We're going to talk about it because you know what? You need to hear the finishing story to this. I don't know if you saw it. It was one of the funniest videos we ever made because we were both shocked. We were both really anticipating a great cheese. It smelled good and it looked good, right? Yeah. <laughs> I watched it I mean, yesterday it and laughed my head off. What a funny video. But we tasted it. It was no good. We tried to pawn it off on Mama Scovo. And wasn't happening. The end of the story is it went in the garbage. She, we threw it out. I'm telling you something. Look here. You don't have to use your knife. That, I was about to point that out. Is that cool as could be? Yeah. So uh, let me tell you a little bit more. It says cube for sharp flavored snack. See, that's a draw. Or shred for your favorite Italian recipe. Also, it's never never smoked. Also, you could cut it into, you could probably do great in the slices and put it on a sandwich. Yeah. All right, so it's kind of cool. This is what I was going to point out as Papa Scoville showed. If it works. It does. I don't need to bring a knife because it's got this thing here, grab and pull. Ready? We'll give this a There's shot. There's one on the other side, too. No, uh, no. No. But you can tell it's probably square that's how when they cut them, it's, they probably cut them in squares, and that's why it looks like Of that. course. And will you look at that? Good hands. We have success, folks. Wow. What an aroma that's got. It's salty, I might add. It has a, you know what? You can smell it in there. You can almost smell that it's going to be salty. Boy, it's got a You're gonna like bite, it's got a bite to I the aroma. I said that earlier, the aged provolone. The regular provolone the oh, tube tastes like cotton. Never smelled a provolone like that. Do you think we should have them turn their smell-o-vision on? 
Yeah, just reach up to him. Kick it on, guys. If you're brand new to the the, the show, you're like, what? All the Skull family know. Kick it on. Get away for that. <laughs> Isn't that you smell the sharpness in that? And just look at the neatness of that corner. A, a craftsman. Oh, that's beautiful. That probably was a wheel they cut in half. Was a wood. And they did one of these numbers, right? You think? Well, it makes sense if you think about this. Look, this is like, a, look at that. Wow, you know what? It crumbles. Right? Yeah, look at this, you guys. This is going to be, yeah, exactly. Look at this. Do you think there's anybody out there that doesn't like cheese? Sure. No, I don't know. We hope you like these little I think cheese is spectacular. Yeah. Stephen Decker from Cutco. Thank you, my dude. This, I've learned that this knife is spectacular and harder cheese, which is, I think this will be good for. Yeah. But softer cheese is not so good. But you know what? Betcha Cutco has a cheese that's made for a knife that's made for softer cheeses. Are you ready for this? I'm really excited to try this. My good fellow. There Indeed. you go. All right, so. Did we get ready for wow, a what a, you can just tell it's got to be like almost, almost like a, a fumes Mother's. coming from it. My mouth is watering. I almost drowned myself. All right. All right, guys. So I'm Johnny Scoville, and Papa from Scoville. it is, and from Bel Belgioso. This is the first time I've ever had sharp provolone. First time I've ever oh, had provolone. By the way, they make you're gonna fall down dead right there. I hope not. They make a um, what was the cheese we tasted a while back? Just uh, the um, brie. No, the Blue hard cheese? Asiago. They make an Asiago that you. I'm going to get it next to Well, Costco. you know what? And that Asiago we had wasn't real Asiago because it, was it wasn't made in Asiago before. And this that is was probably so true, good. Probably. Stop stalling. <laughs> Eat. Was that nice? It has almost a nutty taste to it. A little saltier than normal provolone. It's, the thing is, it's not what you're expecting. That, no, it wasn't. But it's pleasant. Like It wasn't like the brie that wasn't what we were expecting. Oh. Wow. Every time I eat a cheese like this, I think of what that woman in the cheese shop in New Zealand said to me. It shouldn't just be something for your tongue and your palate. You should almost feel it in your head, your, your nasal cavities, everywhere. That's this cheese. You can almost feel it. You know what I mean? Super strong. And by the way, sharp as can be. This is one of the very few cheeses that you don't have to take out an hour and a half ahead of time. You can take it out cold, cut it up, and that baby is just as good as this. Really? That's been my experience. Well, it's just falling apart. Wish you were here. How about it, right? Wouldn't it be great? We could just kind of like push a button, a little tray comes Give out. Give a taste, right? We drop a little piece on the tray, push a button, it sucks it in. Like the commercial recently. Got a little cheese there. A girl drops her phone between the seat. The guy on the phone is looking up. Is it? See some change down there? Yeah. Some, oh, man. You like it? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely... Here's the thing. If you ever had regular provolone and you then tasted the sharp provolone... Uh, what? So I should put it on with... Here's the thing, this would be hard to slice because of the texture of it. Now that I'm thinking about it, you'd have a hard time slicing this because it would just break. I think the best thing would be do like this, a little teeny slices that way. Yeah. Now, here. when we go in, let's look at this. This goes right in the safe. <laughs> you can almost read the newspaper through that thing. That is good. See, it says here. What did I say? Loving the flavor of it. But you know what? It's a texture thing. It's a flavor thing. It's an aroma thing. Consistency. I'm digging it. All right. This was pleasant. I'm so glad. You know what's really funny? I find with sauces, I'm rarely, maybe it's because I have so much more experience with hot sauces, but with the hot sauce, rarely am I surprised. It's usually, when I read the ingredients, I can kind of, in my mind, know what I'm going to be tasting in a general idea. Rarely am I like, wow, that's not what I expected. When we had that brie, I was stunned. It was crazy. It was just You're so not what I was doing. with France. Now, and that's not the... this was just as surprising because this wasn't what I was expecting either. But fantastic. Well, I, I, I was, honestly. I mean, had it before. Well, I, yeah. I like this a lot. I can't believe I, I. 
didn't know what I was missing. Belgioso, sharp provolone. Now, three days now, and I'm going to be off to uh, England. Wow. To head off, uh, do a face to face challenge with the UK Chili Queen. I'm coming, Sheena. Can't what a wait. wonderful time. It's a lovely city. I can't wait to go. It's going to be fun. Little, there's some, like most big cities, there's some streets you don't want to walk in. Sure. Go. Same here. Now, here's, but the only, we don't have a Stonehenge here. No, we don't. And we don't have a Thames Bridge. No, we don't have uh, the Buckingham Palace and Changing the Changing of, of the, the Guards. Guard. Yeah. So here's my deal. I'm going to do something cool with the change in the guards. I'm going to see if I can get one of the guards to eat some peppers with me. You could get locked up. I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. But I will do some sort of a, like review with a, uh, like with a camera with a guy behind me and kind of like with a some uh, tincture. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring some tincture. So, I have some tincture made in England. That's what I'm doing. Some what? Tincture. It's a uh, concentrated. They use uh, oil or alcohol to draw out all the uh, capsaicin from a product. So it's super concentrated, and it's an eye, it's in a dropper, so you can. Uh, it's just concentrated gray pepper flavor, but it's a, and I have this stuff that was made in England. It's a million Scoville heat units, but it's got uh, extract of uh, peppercorn. Um, and you extract you don't like extract. No, no, but this is a, this is an extract of. Uh, uh, I mean, it's valuable in some. Oh, we're gonna have peppercorn. It is, but it, it's the kind of the, it, your your tongue goes numb a little bit. I like peppercorn. I like the, the taste of it. I'm forgetting the actual name. It's not peppercorn. It's, Breaking um, up. Golly. Some I know what you're thinking it. about. It's very, very good. But what I, I'm going to bring that tincture, and I'm going to review it in front of a guard right while they change. I'll see if we can get two guards in the same picture. i got to find out what their schedule is. The of course, I'll be... you're going to get in the same picture with the Minnesota Twins. <laughs> He's a wild man. Oh, you know, yeah. Well... They come to expect it. And you're like, I mean, I, they, you gotta give them what they want. You know, they expect skydives and things like that. Not from me. You know what? 25 years ago, you would have done. It. Yeah, you would have. No one ever asked me to. Right. I don't know. It's a pretty great time. It's quite a rush. Nice picking out. You're the one who saw this. Um. <laughs> well, the big reason that <clears throat> drew it to me, or that kind of made me want to buy it, is I've never seen provolone in that kind of the produced key, that and way. The keyword was sharp, I think. Well, it wasn't just that. It was that if it was regular provolone, it would have surprised me because it was in this form. It wasn't behind a deli where you had them slice it. I've never, ever seen any other way but that. Actually, you know what? There's some company that has it processed, and it's in a little plastic. You peel it off, and there's like six slices. Oh, yeah. The, yeah been, sliced but, and prepared. But it's round. It's not... Sold like this, so this was a trick. And it, it will slice thin or thick, however you want it, and won't fall apart. So I'm not as uh. There's probably a little glue in it to hold it together. <laughs> not enough. It's falling apart. Listen, a lot of you guys are more knowledgeable about cheeses and have been around more than me. So if you've had uh, this sharp provolone like this, let me know. I don't know what you think of it. If you haven't, get some. I'll put a link in the description box for them. If you're going to be in Guildford, uh, England, uh, on the 21st, you got to come out. I'm going to be uh, going. Head to head with the U.S. the U.K. Chili Queen, representing you know this interesting. We're, she's representing the U.K. I'm representing the U.S.A. We're fighting for a belt, a big belt. It looks like a, a looks like a UFC belt or a boxing belt. A big. Cool yeah, better watch out if you're winning. You're leaving the stadium and they say, "Hey, we, we got a fight lined up." You know. All right. Well, somebody here's the funny thing. Just like anything else, if, you, if a, a fighter has a belt. Somebody wants to take it. Gotta have that belt. And right now, I sort of see like she's got the belt because this is happening in her town. It's, it's her in her hometown, basically. It's a home. She has home field yeah, advantage. Yeah, that's right. And she's undefeated. She's now sixty-two and zero. Did you see this? Whip? She's knocking them down like left and right. She just can't seem to lose. So I'm gonna go in there and see if I can do it. All right. Anyhow, you'll see links in the description box below for a whole bunch of stuff. And right between our heads, right about right above my hand, is our pepper. You click it, you're part of our family. You're doing, you know, we're doing the, the journey Hello. together. Hello, English Bob. English Bob. I'm going to your town, English Bob. Thank anyway, you. Uh, if you don't want to miss a video, click the bell for notification. We'll do that. I'm Johnny Scoville. Papa Scoville. This was Chase the Heat.